fire. It comes in different forms and can have varying degrees of intensity. Take for example the flame from an ordinary candle. While not very intense, it will cause a burn if you hold your finger over it long enough. Contrast that with a flash fire, which is much more intense. It will cause burn injury almost instantly. Flash fire is an unexpected sudden intense fire caused by the ignition of flammable solids including dust, liquids, or gases. It is characterized by high temperature, short duration, considerable shock waves, and a rapidly moving flame front. This is a very dangerous yet common type of work-related fire hazard in the petrochemical and natural gas industry, but can be found in other industries as well. There is confusion with rainware, which has brand names or is labeled with terminology such as FR and flame resistant. The unfortunate problem this poses is that consumers of these products are unaware of the product's actual performance in a flash fire situation in their environment. So what is the label or the name of the FR rainware referring to? Since products are marketed with FR and or flame resistance, users of these products have assumed that their rainware will protect them in their flash fire hazard applications. For consumers in flash fire environments, such as petrochemical and natural gas applications, this is a very dangerous assumption. In the world of rainware, there are specific standards that have been developed for coated materials, which requires them to be tested to a minimum flash fire exposure so that proper selection of rainware can be made. For this reason, ASTM developed a new standard specifically for rainware where flash fire hazards are part of the working environment. Therefore, ASTM F2733 is the first rainware standard designed for workers who are potentially exposed to industrial hydrocarbon fires or petrochemical fire hazards. To best demonstrate the limitations of such rainware that is marketed with only flame resistance or FR, it is best to expose them to a thermal instrumented mannequin test. A standardized flash fire exposure of 3 seconds on a thermal instrumented mannequin is the test method that is specified in ASTM F2733. The following demonstrations provide an indication of the product's performance in a flash fire situation. Duly demonstrated as well are products that have been tested and are compliant to ASTM F2733. This yellow rain suit is PVC coated on both sides of a polyester substrate. The product indicates it is flame resistant on the left chest of the jacket. The label states that the product meets the requirements of Canadian Standard for Workwear Protection Against Hydrocarbon Flash Fire, CGSB 155.20, paragraph 6.1.1. However, paragraph 6.1.1 is for the vertical flame test only. How does the product perform to a hydrocarbon flash fire? There is definite evidence of melting and dripping. Significant after flame can be observed. There is also considerable break open of the product. Most of the material was consumed by the flash fire leaving the garments underneath the rainwear to be exposed to the flash fire. But that's why ASTM F2733 was developed for rainware that is needed in environments where industrial hydrocarbon fires or petrochemical fire hazards exist. ASTM F2733 requires the thermal instrumented mannequin to be dressed with 100% cotton t-shirt and briefs under the rainware. After the exposure of a 3 second flash burn, the rainware should protect the mannequin with no more than a 40% total body burn and no melting or dripping. Other response characteristics are observed, such as whether break-open of the material occurred, structural seam integrity must be intact, 
closure function must open by hand, and the average third-degree body burn that the mannequin received is recorded. All of these elements for evaluating rain wear are important and is not appropriate to isolate specific requirements of a standard without considering the entire standard. This was an example of one of the previous burn observations that had a claim to only the flame-resistant portion of the standard, which was testing against vertical flame only. This is the Petrolite 9000 series. The Petrolite is an FR neoprene coated Nomex material which is labeled as ASTM F2733 compliant. With the same 3 second burn that was demonstrated on the previous examples, observe the difference in the visual performance of the product. There's a far different outcome that can be observed. With little to no afterflame, no dripping, melting, and absolutely no break open of the material was experienced. The petrolite performed as it was predicted to. Outside of some slight discoloration of the material, the rainwear looks good enough to be worn again. However, that is not recommended. The total body burn of this test is only 9.2% in the protected areas. The petrolite is an ASTM F2733 compliant rain suit. So, based on your hazards, which type of product makes sense for you to consider when it comes to flash fire environments? There is a difference between flash fire protection and a product labeled as only flame resistant. The proof is in the product's ability to withstand the hazard and protect the body, as you have seen simulated with the thermal mannequin. NASCO's focus is to help inform customers of these differences so that proper selection of rainwear will be made for environments that need protection from hydrocarbon fire hazards. We understand that the market is sometimes confusing. It can also jeopardize the protection of the worker who thinks that he or she is protected with the right product for his application, but isn't. NASCO has extensive knowledge and resources in helping you to evaluate and select a protective outerwear solution that is right for you. Go to NASCO's website at www.nascoinc.com for more information or contact us at 800-767-4288.